Hey guys, welcome back to some more Xenogears. Holy crap, so in the last episode we started disc 2. I don't know, I feel like that's all that really needs to be said. I don't gotta say any much more. So let's get right into it. How do you feel now? The fresh forest air should have refreshed you somewhat, eh? Anyway, it's about the removal of the seal. Uh, I found out it can be released by using the nanotechnology that regenerated you two. The nano-assemblers are enclosed in this pod. If only we could scatter them all over the world. There's an ancient military installation nearby. We might be able to use the mass driver located in there to launch this pod into the upper atmosphere. Once the nano-assemblers are released up there, the convection currents should spread them all over the world. I wish I could do it. But I'm getting much too old for this type of thing. Then again, it's for your future. An old man should not butt in. You young ones must do it for yourselves. Here. And of course, I'm not asking you to do it for free. Try this wristband on. A wristband? What is that? Well, this is an emotion control device in which nanotechnology is applied. From this machine shaped as a wristband, nanomachines are infused through your epidermis into your brain. There, they refine the SSRI intercerebral substances such as serotonin that control emotions. Damn, they're getting right into it with the SSRI stuff. Damn. <laughs> this, this game is so intellectual. I love it. Well, I suppose it's rather difficult for you to understand. But in short, it means that the manifestation of your second personality, id, can be suppressed. So basically, he wants to... Basically, it, it, it can kind of control phase emotions a little bit. So if he gets in a position where id can come out, he can kind of suppress those emotions, I guess. So id doesn't come out full force. I'm not... Don't... Like I said, forgive me if I'm wrong on anything. But th this is just what I'm guessing here from what he's saying. Id can kind of be controlled. <laughs> well, not controlled, but suppressed. Id. Fay. Well, it's all th theoretical, though. Oh, and I did one more thing as well. I installed the same control device in your gear. You mean it can release Id at will? Yes, I call it the system Id. Is that a pun? Is that a pun to, like, system ID? <laughs> I don't know, because that's a term. A system ID, so system id. I don't know. I might just be looking too much into it. <laughs> but of course it should be not overused. Use it only as a last resort. Ellie. Doc. I. Faye, there was nothing you could do. It'll never happen again with the Taurus technology, though. He is one of the three Shabbat sages. Whether you believe it or not, it's all up to you. Oh, it sounds like we have a guest. Oh, I guess... I don't know if you guys heard that on the recording, but the door just knocked in the game. Who's here? <laughs> Faye, we got problems. Who is it? Who's this guy? Today, a peace settlement between Ave and Kislev is being held at Shabbat. But Solaris's mobile weapons are approaching Shabbat as we speak. Please, help us! Oh shit, shit's going down already? That has nothing to do with this young man. Tora! You're getting on my nerves for being so selfish. Satan told me about you. You showed up after finding out that it is now controllable. Aren't you ashamed? You haven't changed since then. You only care about yourselves. Faye, you don't need to listen to these guys who once tried to kill you. But... Please go. I'll go to the mass driver. Ellie! No matter what happened before, Shabbat needs your help now. Although you may be saving some selfish people, there is still the world... There is still the world and its countries with many more innocent people. Please don't forget that. Bart and his people are fighting to protect those same lives, aren't they? So please... Go help them. Are you sure? What about you? Don't worry about me. I'll manage somehow. But all by yourself? 
I will, I will accompany Ellie. You do not need to worry. I have brought along my own Omni Gear. Your own Omni Gear? What? <laughs> I'm in the same boat as Faye. Your own Omni Gear? What the fuck are you talking about, Satan? Where did you get an Omni Gear? Yeah, I know, like, I know Satan gets Fenrir, but I have no idea how he gets it. Yes, my Omni Gear. Fenrir. It is the same one I brought from Solaris. I left it with Gaspar in case of emergencies. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sounds good to me. As long as Doc has an Omni Gear, I'm fine. <laughs> Heimdall was cool, but Fenrir is a badass. He's got the sword. Fenrir's got the sword. Doc, all right. Uh, please take care of her for me. Ellie, be careful. I will. We are true. Oh, <laughs> I was about to use the Torah voice. We are truly grateful for your kindness, Faye. Oh, shoot! Suit yourselves. Torah, we're sorry. We're we're sorry. We gotta go. <laughs> Ignis, right? Yes. The goal of the enemy is to destroy the cities in Ignis. They have already destroyed half of Bledebeck and will probably reach Nissan in, an, in about four hours. Shabbat will try to drive them back with all the power it has. Four hours? That's cutting it close. No need to worry. Balthazar and I fixed your gear with the nano machines. It's much more powerful than it ever was before. Why, you should get it there in half the time. What? Is old man Bal here? Emeralda is here as well. No shit. Oh my god, look at Weltall! I forgot they beefed him up. He's... Holy fuck! Weltall is thick. Weltall is thick. Look at him. Or, <laughs> I, I don't care. I'm referring to Weltall as a him. I don't even care. That's a fucking beefy gear. This is incredible! Oh, we meet again. The host for the spirit of the Slayer of God. I did not think it would ever work on you again. I haven't seen Old Man Bao since episode 7 or 8. Holy fuck. Where have you been for the last 70 episodes? <laughs> but why are you both helping me? There are some things you just can't explain with the word, fate. You are just going to have to see it with your own eyes. Faye, going? Oh, speaking of Emeralda, I want to use Emeralda this disc. I've hardly ever used Emeralda before. I didn't use her during disc one because I completely forgot <laughs> I could use her in disc one, but yeah, I'm probably gonna try her out later. Uh, yeah, I better hurry. Hey! Where are you going? Ray, please hurry. Uh, all right. Gear up. That is a wonderful noise. I love it. Are you sure you want to go through with all this? You wanted to live quietly away from the battlefield, did you not? I noticed myself running away from reality. At first, I thought my, si my situation was similar to his. I thought Faye would understand my feelings. I didn't know if my love for him was real. I might have been desperate after losing my mother and father. Ellie. I'm just making sure my camera's not going to go out of focus here. Despite all that, I may still love him. That's why I want to see what Faye can do, and what I can do. I want us to be apart and think about ourselves again. Ellie, that's so... That pulls on the heartstrings. I want to see how I really feel. That's so deep. You have changed a lot, Ellie. What happened to you in the past three weeks? Really? I don't think I've changed. Yes, you have. I should say, you have matured. Like a mother. Excuse me? 
I'm only 18 years old. I'm nowhere near the age of being your mother. <laughs> Sorry, you gave me that impression. That is all. Anyway, <laughs> Siton, I'm going now. Alright, I will follow you as soon as I finish off here. I... I go too! What? I go! Emerald, uh, I can't take anyone else along with me for something like this. I'll be fine on my own. If Ellie go, I, I go too. Emerald, I have to go with you. Emerald? No, Emerald, go too. Why not let her go? I am sure Solaris has a hunch about that limiter. They may interfere, so you may feel uneasy going it alone. I think Emerald is cut out for this job. Besides, she is going to want to go no matter what. Take care of her until I can join you, please. Okay. You win. Let's help each other, alright? I can do it alone. You just watch. Um. Uh hmm. Oh god damn it. Do you see him behind the machine? <laughs> Groff. Oh, I thought so. So, you were the one who brought Faye and this girl to me. I realized it the minute I saw the two alone. Why, how could I help but notice? They looked the spitting image of you and her. Yes, just as you yourselves looked way back then. Right, Lacan? God damn it, this is so crazy. Oh shit, these fucking guys again? Here we go. Oh, sorry, my volume cuts out like that sometimes. What do you mean, he's still alive? Yes. Ridiculous. Didn't Ramses shoot him down? She was also on the gear that Ramses shot down. I won't let her die. But there is already a mother. Although she may be the antitype, as long as the current mother exists. As far as I see it, that is not complete. Quite picky, aren't you? Didn't you say you threw all the way? Didn't you say you threw away all human emotions? I don't care what you think. Anyway, as far as he is concerned, I will put Ramses on to him. Any objections? Where is he presently? Entranank is destroyed, but part of the memory cubes is still active. We should be able to locate the individuals. Wait a moment. He has left the crash site and is heading towards Ignis. I see. So he has left the area. That means it is only a matter of time before the seal is broken. Did you say something? It's nothing. Just sit there and wait for the good news. What about re retrieving the girl? The key is already beginning to resonate. The time of the resurrection is near. We can get the girl any time. It doesn't have to be now. Let's take our time. Krellian? I swear to God, this guy is like... <laughs> He's so stoic! Oh my God. On my way to Ignis, I re-encountered him. Karan Ramses. Ramses once again stood in my way, in his Omni-Gear Vendetta. It was an unavoidable battle. I realized the new function that I added to my Mark II gear, System Id. Oh wait, did I read that right? <laughs> I released the new function that I added to my Mark II gear, System Id. That's so crazy! Hey, I get to battle! How- that's awesome. Okay, so... <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Can we boost? <laughs> yeah, we can boost. Oh god, so what do we all got here? Um, what does Radiance do? Oh, that doesn't do too much. Okay. Um. 
All right, I guess I guess we just attack for now. So what do we do about this pose? Do we just like let it happen? Oh my goodness, <laughs> Ramses. He's pretty strong too, damn it. Wait, so we used the system id. Id mode for three turns. Uh, Flaming Hell, Thor Wave. Let's use the system id again. This is so interesting. Okay. It's so overpowered. <laughs> oh, man. I love the system id. I don't think I used it that much in my first playthrough. I don't know if you can use it that much. Like I said, my memory isn't the best, so... As we continue disc 2, we'll we'll see how things go <laughs> with this. Ramses' absolute confidence was shattered, leaving only his cry of disbelief and resentment. Ramses' machine disappeared into a sea of foliage. Why was he so fixated on me? I know not why, but he did say this. If only you didn't exist. That's right. Ramses has some serious vendettas with Faye. We'll find out why later. In order to disperse the nanomachines, Emerald and I headed for one of the ruins of the Zavoim civilization, the mass driver facility. Fortunately, the facility was still active, which allowed us to proceed on to the central control room with little difficulty. Along the way, we saw various missiles and giant rockets that were created during the Zaboim era. They stood like tombstones of that ancient civilization. It was a it was a graveyard for a race of people who destroyed each other over pride and arrogance. Once arriving at the central control room, we met up with Satan, who helped us activate the mass driver. We succeeded in launching the capsule containing the nanomachines which would release the seal. The limiter. Okay, I gotta pay attention <laughs> to what's going on. Actually, I'm going to use this cutscene as an excuse to have a drink here. <laughs> My throat's getting a little dry. As you guys know, I'm, uh, <laughs> I drink fucking too much coffee. Machines that were scattered into the upper atmosphere began to multiply and spread throughout the whole of the world. The nanomachines glittered in the sunlight, flowing like a large river in the sky. That glitter would remove the bonds restraining everyone. It was to be our light of hope for regaining back our true freedom. Solaris, mobile surface supremacy weapon, invaded the area with great force. Shavat and Nissan's standard gear battalions were no match against it. 
It was only a matter of time before the Solaris mobile weapon arrived in Nissan. After we pushed back the Solarian gear units, we headed for Norchun, to the Kislev capital's administrative district. We went there to obtain one, our one and only means of standing up against the mobile weapon. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I love Disc 2. Oh, this is so fucking interesting. You know what? Disc 2 moves so fast, I need time to let information sink in. So you know what? Ah, let's end the episode here. Holy crap. I'll see you guys in the next episode.